Not sure why I called. I guess I really just wanted to talk to you. And I was thinking maybe later on we could get together for a while. It's been such a long time, and I really do miss you. Tonight. Welcome to Volume 1, Episode 4 of The Bare Necessities. And as you can see, we are in a very festive mood. Today, we will be Christmas caroling to show our holiday spirit. We will be doing our very own rendition of Silent Night for a local fan. So the caroling didn't work out, so we're going to read you some Christmas poems instead. Hopefully this will bolster the Christmas spirit of the town. <clears throat> this one's called, I've Been Waiting for Christmas by William Eric. I've been waiting for Christmas, and it's almost here. I've been waiting for Christmas, Santa's getting near. Can't you hear the sleigh bells ringing, reindeer up so high? Can't you hear the children singing as they watch the sky? This one's called The Day Before Christmas by Anonymous. We've been helping with the cake and linking out the pan and wrapping up our packages as neatly as we can. We have hung up our stockings up beside the open grate and now there's nothing more to do except to wait. This one's called I'm a Little Snowman by Anonymous. I'm a little snowman, round and fat. Here are my mittens, here is my hat. Add a little scarf and a carrot nose. I stand so tall when the cold wind blows. This is called Christmas Tree Poem by a fan favorite, Joanna Fox. Christmas tree, sparkling bright, filled with baubles, warmth and light, precious symbol of our affection for Christmas time and its perfection. Show each night your radiant glory, or ooze for us, obligatory. Christmas tree, don't let us down. Show something special at your crown. An angel, star, or splendid piece to make our holiday joy increase. An icon pure, ideal, complete. For Christmas memories, bond and sweet. Glitter and glisten, gleam and glow. Say it with me, friends. Oh, Christmas tree, we love you so. We got another one here by Miss Joanna Fox, Year Round Joy. Christmas is full of shiny things that sparkle, gleam, and glow. These holiday pleasures dazzle us, and yet deep down we know that Christmas has its special gifts, but our year round joy depends on the cherished people in our lives, our family, and our friends. This one's for all you jokers out there. It's called The Funniest Face by Anonymous. The funniest face looked out at me from a silver ball on the Christmas tree. At first I thought it was Santa's elf, but then I looked again and it was just myself. Thanks for watching. Hopefully your Christmas spirit is through the roof. Merry Christmas. And Happy New Year.
holy night. All is calm, all is bright. Brown young virgin, mother and child. Holy infant, so tender and mild. Sleep in heavenly peace. Sleep in heavenly peace. Welcome to the senior moment, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Gavin Doring, and I'm here with Eating Heavenson. Uh, so, Eden, you're editor of the Bear Facts, am I right? Mm -hmm. Now, what kind of thought goes into that when you're laying out everything in the paper? I just go for what's appealing for the eye. Mm. So, when you go for visually appearance, are there certain articles that you put in, like, color boxes so that more the readers would be more, more attracted to the yes. article? Um, the more important articles, I think, like when our football team is doing so well, I put the football article in the darker box, or Ariana's articles go in the darker box also. Oh. So you try and orient the reader towards what you think is more valuable to their... Mm -hmm. oh. So do you take a lot of photos, too? I do. I like to take photos. So do you kind of plan out your photo? Can you see it in your mind before you take it? Um, I guess. I would just take like three or four and then decide which one I like best. Hmm. That's nice. Uh, do you have any plans after school? I'm going to attend USD and hopefully double major in journalism and creative writing. So you're going to go and do what you already do here at Al Sister. Mm -hmm. So you're getting good, valuable, valuable experience then, huh? Yep. I am also writing for the Teen Gazette and the Broadcaster. Oh, jeez. Voluntarily also. Writing all day, every day. <laughs> do you have any more hobbies besides writing and photography? I would say I write mostly. Oh, and read. A lot of writing. A lot of writing. So, are you into movies? I do. Like Watching them. movies. What kind of movies do you like to watch? Um, well, my favorite movie would probably be Dead Poet Society, and then about writing, folks. I assume because it's a poet. Yeah, there's some writing in there too. All right, eating Hemington. Welcome back for round two of the senior moment. I'm here with Nick Beck, and so Nick, do you have any plans after you graduate from our sister? I do. I plan to go to STI for welding. You like to weld then? I do. What kind of stuff do you weld? Metal. Metal? Yeah. Is there a specific type of metal that you like to weld? No. Do you have a specific type of welding torch that you like to use? Is there a lucky torch down in the egg shop? No. no. All right. So do you like music then, Nick? A little bit. All right. What kind of music do you listen to? Uh, anything from oldies to country to rap to Christian. What's your favorite? I like oldies. Oldies? A little bit. Respect for that. Yeah. So do you watch a lot of Netflix then? Netflix, uh, yeah, I do actually. You watch a lot of, what kind of movies do you watch on there? I watch TV shows mainly, like Pretty Little Liars and Carrie oh, Diaries. You're into that gossip stuff. Yeah, nice. Gossip Girl. Nice. What's your favorite one? Ooh, I, ooh, I like, I think it's going to be Gossip Girl. That's a, that's an intense show. Yeah. I watched an episode one time. Yeah. It's pretty real. Do you have a favorite class here at El Sister Hudson? Uh, I like all of them. You like all of them equally? Equally, yeah. Nice. Nick Beck. Just a good old boy. Never meaning no harm. Beats all you never saw. Been in trouble with the law. Since the day they was born Straight in the curve yeah. Some kids in the hall or twins in the hall a Christmas special edition Here with Eli Scoglin and Sam Brandt The question is If you could take dating advice from one Member of the high school Who would it be? Eric Burr Most definitely Just a charming young man Who gets all the ladies what do you say? Uh, I'd probably have to say Berg too. I mean, who, who doesn't want to be Berg in every aspect of life? Amen. All right, here's the kids in the hall again with big DJ Marsh Marshall. Who would you take dating advice from in high school? 
definitely Eric Berry. Why is that? Because he just seems like he'd be good, good dating in place. Mm -hmm. Alright, this time it's a different question. We're with Cassie Seifen. She was very willing to participate today. What, Cassie, what is your favorite Christmas movie? Oh. Awesome. That's it. All right, here we are on our final Kids in the Hall, and we have Holly Benwyk and Brigetta Rasmussen, and what is your favorite Christmas movie, Brigetta? Frosty the Snowman. Mine is Rudolph. Two classics. Hello, and welcome to the Christmas special of the Bear Necessities Cub Sports. There's a wide area of things going on in the Alice and Sir Hudson Sports World. The spectacular 2014 football season ended on November 8th with a loss at Howard. Numerous Cubs were honored with awards in the conference and the state. Grant Johnson, Colin Wall, Lyle LaFran boys, and Jalen Dickow were all conference first team, while Gavin Doring, Chris Clemmy, and Mitchell Johnson were all conference honorable mention. Colin Wall and Lyle Love from Boys got all state nods as Grant Johnson got honorable mention. The volleyball team ended their successful season with a loss to Vibrant Hurley in districts on November 4th. The girls are also honored with the boys as Cassie Wall, Cassie Sheevan, and Sierra McCown got all conference. Cassie Wall got all state honorable mention. We are back here with senior football player Jalen. How did it feel? to be named all-conference in this football season. It's pretty sweet. Is that it? Is yep. that all you felt? Yep. yep. So then what's your outlook on the wrestling season upcoming this winter? Hoping to make it to state this year. I think that's everybody's goal. I'm here with junior quarterback Grant Johnson, honorable mention, all-state quarterback. Grant, how did that feel to get that honor? It was pretty cool. It was nice. I don't know. It was. Pretty cool that Colin and Lyle both got all state and then I got out of the bench and it was pretty cool. So now changing seasons to basketball, what is your expectations for the season this year? It should be good. We went ten and ten last season and now coming back we graduated one senior, Barnes, but we'll be coming back again and we look to have a good year. I am here with senior Sierra McConnell. Sierra what is your expectation for this year's girls basketball season? Well, we're working with the same group of girls that we have for volleyball, so uh, our season did increase in volleyball, so I think it should be pretty good this year. Thanks. Hello, Bear Necessities viewers. This is me, Zach Ronning, and boys basketball coach, Mr. Coons. Now, Mr. Coons, what is your outlook on the Cubs basketball season? Well, we have a lot of uh, returning. <laughs> the guys are just laughing the whole time here. Uh, a lot of guys returning from last year. You know, we only lost one uh, one kid from last year's team. Uh, the nice thing is, this year three, uh, with with me being here and basically having the same kids all the way through. Um, so you know, we got some kids that are good. You know, smart kids, athletic kids, and they run the the philosophies that we do very well. So uh, I think we have the potential to you know have a really good regular season and make a really good postseason run. It should be a fun year. Hope so. Yeah. I'm here with girls basketball coach Shannon Hamus. Ms. Hamus, what is your outlook for this year's basketball season? It's, my outlook is good. I'm excited for this season. We graduated a lot of seniors last year, so that leaves us with a young group of girls, but this group of girls has been working very hard at practice, and I have some high expectations for this season. All right, thank you very much. Look for the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Forget about your worries and your stress.